Hi, I'm Sean Gannett, and this is Minute Math, and today we're learning about simplifying rational exponents. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help to use Minute Math. We're given this problem right here, 3x to the negative one-half power times 3x to the one-half power times y to the negative one-third power all over 3y to the negative seven-fourths power, <laughs> and we got to simplify. Let's rewrite some of the stuff and reorganize it and do what we can. Put the coefficients out front, and we have 3 times 3. Then, for the same base, we have x and x here. Our rules say we have to add the exponents. So we have a negative 1 half plus a positive 1 half. And then we just have our y to the negative 1 third staying there. Then from there, the denominator really doesn't do anything. So we have 3 here, and we have y to the negative 7 fourths power. But we can simplify this a little more. 3 times 3 is 9, and then x to the negative 1 half power plus 1 half, that's just x to the 0 power. From there, we have a y to the negative 1 third, and let's go bring this y to the numerator. That's going to be y then to a positive 7 fourths power, and that's going to be all over that 3 that's left over. Okay, keep on going. Well, 9 divided by 3 is just a 3, and we no longer need a denominator here. I'll put that like this. Then we have, well, x to the 0 power, it's just 1, don't need to write that anymore. And now we have y to the negative 1 third power and 7 fourths. But we have to add the fractions, let's find a common denominator, and then one, negative 1 third is the same as negative 4 twelfths, and we're adding that to a positive 21 twelfths. Okay. Not too bad to simplify here. Keep on going. 3 stays right here, and we add them out. Negative 4 plus 21 is 17. So we have 3y to the 17th power over 12, and that is our final answer. I hope this video was helpful for you, and if it was, please subscribe to this YouTube channel and like this video. This helps us make more free math lessons for you and for everyone else. So as always, thanks for watching. Minute Math, Minute Math, when you need help you use Minute Math.